Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Thanks for watching. I'm sorry it's been so long since I've given you any meaningful content. I've had some, um, I don't know, mishaps down here, I guess you could say. Um, the big one is that the electric's still not in because of the virus or whatever. The electric company went to half staff and they got three out of the five electric poles in and the wire's not run. So hopefully that'll get back to normal here pretty soon. The second uh, mishap is that my well is apparently dry. That's not initially what was said that, you know, I guess, you know, in the beginning it was said that I had something like 30 gallons an hour hit water at 290 feet or something like that. Um, when he pulled all the stem out, he said that I have a dry well. So that causes me to have to, you know, figure out some things, water mainly. So right now, I'm going to go down in the canyon and take a look at my freshwater spring. I'm trying to figure out how high I can get that water up. I've watched a few different YouTube channels. Wrangler Star is one where he's done a ram pump and he's had it every year and he brings his water to the elevation of about 150 feet, but he doesn't have a whole lot of drop. My understanding about these ram pumps is that for every one foot of, of drop in the elevation that you have, you can push it up seven feet. So theoretically, maybe something like that could work. I'm gonna go down and take a look at it today. Look at the, the grass. I planted grass throughout here and it's just started to green up. I think I'm gonna end up having a lot of pretty grass on my cliff. But for now, I'm gonna try to solve this water problem. and. The spring water, when I go down there, I drink it. It's cold and delicious. The, the water runs year round here. It's been a little bit rainy, so I'm sure that we'll see that I've got a little bit extra runoff. But um, I just wanna see if this th theoretically could work, not just for you know irrigation of my land here and for my gardens and temporary water, but maybe, maybe in the end that might be how I get my water. I don't know. Leave me a comment and uh, let, let me know what you think. But my idea is to bring it up and put it in storage tanks. And if I wanted to do a pressure tank and a filtration system, I think I can do it pretty easy. So I'm gonna get down there. It's pretty steep. I love exploring this place. It's so beautiful. Deep enough to swim in one side of it. So beautiful. Water's starting to turn blue. That's where my pretty waterfall is. I'd love you to leave a comment down here by the by my spring and up this canyon. I have so many different 
varieties of plants and things. And um, the Indian people, I have Indian caves, and they planted a bunch of herbs and uh, blueberries and all kind of things. I need to figure out what everything is. It's so beautiful down here, so steep. Isn't this a beautiful place? One of my favorites. I love this. It's like a water slide. It drops off the falls right there. This place reminds me of the forest in Robin Hood or something like that. What do you think? What do you think? Put you on a stick? The big Indian cave right in there. I don't know if you can see the black. But that's a, it's a permanent residence down here a long time ago. So beautiful here. This tree. Horn grinder for the dog messed it up. Since the Indians had their permanent hunting grounds here, I made this. It's just perfectly round. Some ground out. I found so many artifacts here. So many. The only artifact you care about is a stick. Okay, so I think I've hiked this and I'm trying to find the steepest decline in about 100 feet linear. So um, I think I found a good spot. Finding a place that'll catch water. This can be dug out and it's a natural place to go down right through here. And then I get a good drop off. And the drop off's pretty steep. So I'm thinking that I could um, dig this out a little bit Dam it up a little bit, put my PVC right through there, and go straight down. Right now we're we're at well down at down at this level. We're at 660, 659, something like that. So let's we'll see in about hundred feet how far this drops off. Hopefully it'll be enough. I'm noticing a straight shot and we're we're dropping pretty good, so. I'm wondering if this might be a good section to try. I figure I need 30 feet of drop, at least. They say the drop is for the back pressure of the ram pump. They call it the drive line. And I was going to do it in Two inch PVC for the main length of it and um, the last 20 feet I would do in galvanized because they say that that really helps with the vibration and vibration I guess is a deal killer with trying to get the whole thing to work so I'm gonna say 620 this is a uh, 605. As the other problem is, the further that I go down, the more height getting back up. So from the bottom of my cove to where I'm gonna have my house, it's about 220 feet vertical. Whereas back there, there were places that, there were stretches where I was at 650 feet of elevation. So that meant I would probably only have to raise it up you know, a little over a hundred going 
is the crow flies or the deer runs through the woods and then I could just bring it downhill. So that might ultimately be the best idea. I'm still just trying to wrap my mind around this whole thing. The idea of having a water pump that can work continuously with no electricity is really intriguing to me. So I've geeked out on it and watched a million videos and looked at a lot of schematics on it and everything. So I'm gonna be trying that this week. Um, hopefully it'll work, wish me luck. Do you suppose I have any, any wildlife around here? No shortage of deer down here, that's for sure. They like to bed down on this. It'll get real green in the summertime and all the does bed down right there. And they lay there. And <laughs> sometimes I'll come down and wake them up in the morning. They, uh, they're covered in, covered in clover. It's so beautiful down here. That's my, that's my cove right there. And the, the river that comes into it. Feels like a whole different world down here, let me tell you. So, I don't know if this ram pump idea is going to work, but it seems like a really good... Damn, look at this. It seems like a really good idea for me, especially in this situation that I have where I don't have any usable water. So maybe the Lord will be with me and I can get some water up the hill. And you want to be a, what do you want to be when you grow up? A photographer. And you, did you do all the filming? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. She did such a beautiful job. Um, the title? Uh, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't titled it yet. What do you think? I don't know, but I have a YouTube thing on You do? Oh, okay. Well, my channel name is called German Shepherd Ranch. Like Delta, my channel name is called German Shepherd Ranch, and it'll be on there. Okay. Yeah, and I'll make sure. I'll tell Danny, and he'll tell you guys. Okay? I'll make sure.